Hi, this is Trinisha Cottrell, and today I wanted to talk about what you think. So, you know, the hair does what it wants. So whenever I have it not in braids or whatever else, the hair just kind of, it just goes and does its own thing. So it's going to look like this in this video. Hopefully you still watch. <laughs> but what made me want to do a video about what you think is, it's so funny because I always reiterate and I always say things like, most of the time, let me stop saying always and, you know, forever and ever and never and stuff like that. But <laughs> most of the time when I'm doing things or I'm doing this video, I will say things like, you know, it's really about us believing in ourselves. If we can believe in ourselves, we can do anything. And <laughs> I was taking a class on Saturday because I've started taking this class doing something that I had been it had been something that had an incident happen when I was younger and it kind of just like got me away from doing something that I really like to do. And so I started taking this class because I want to, I want in this single season and forever to just face my fears. Anything that I'm like, I'm a little afraid of or anything that I might be scared of or anything that might, you know, anything that could possibly hold me back. I want to make sure that I face it head on. I don't want to run away from it. I don't want to allow that thing to control my life. I don't want to allow it to to make me not be able to do things where I can help other people, you know? So I don't want there to be anything that's that's holding me back at all. And so I'm in this class and while I'm in this class, I get like a little afraid while I'm doing this thing. And the instructor is saying things like, look, this is, is you got this. And I'm like, she's like, you already know how to do this. So this is just one extra thing that you're doing and you can do it. You got this. And I was like, I do already like in my head, I was like, you can't do this. Why are you trying to do this right now? And I already knew how to, I've done it before. I know how to do it. So I had a moment where I doubted myself. And because I doubted myself, I, I couldn't do something that I already knew how to do. I, me thinking that I couldn't do this thing stopped me from being, being able to actually do something I already knew how to do. And it's so funny because if you're confident, no matter what it is you're doing, you could be successful just being confident because you believe in yourself. You don't even have to have the skill set because if you know, like I know, like with God in my life, I don't even have to have the, the qualifications for things and God will just open a door for me. He'll just make a way out of no way every single time and I could not necessarily be the type of person who's good at whatever it is and it's like God could just drop that gift on me he can drop that blessing on me and out of nowhere it might not be something that I'm, I'm really great at but it might be something that I could learn to do it might be something that this is where my skills of you know being caring or whatever else could be implemented in this area in this job in this career and it's so funny because the job position might not even be open. And then out of nowhere, God will just open the opportunity for you. I have been praying recently about having this, this thing happen in my life. I really wanted, you know, this opportunity. I really wanted to be able to do certain things in my life. And I, I didn't want to have any distractions. I didn't want to have anyone come up into my life to distract me or deter me from the kingdom, deter me from God. I want to stay focused on God, no matter what's happening in my life. And so I have been super intentional and everything else and it's like I have been praying about this and and I got this opportunity for my business just came out of nowhere and I know most people will say well don't talk about it because then you might end it or you know it might not happen listen if it's if God intends for it to happen it will happen if not I will be fine regardless of if it happens or if it doesn't because I trust in God and if God wants to give me the opportunity, it's because it was meant for me. If he takes the opportunity away, if he doesn't give it to me right now because he wants me to wait because he has other things that he wants to do on the inside of me, I'm okay with that too. Whatever it is that God sees fit for my life is what I want. And sometimes it gets, <laughs> it's a little hard because, you know, we do want other things, but staying focused on God is the most important. And so, <laughs> so I just, when I took that swim class in the past, when I took that cooking class in the past, when I took that 
dancing class because I oof, I had I still I have a little bit of rhythm but when I say I could not dance at all <laughs> I could not dance when I did horseback riding when I did it's a bunch of other things that I just try to do because I want to make sure that I'm doing a bunch of different things I want to make sure that I'm trying to do better I want to learn a new skill I want to I want to do everything I can and eventually I'll tell you what the class is but when when I'm taking this class that I took on Saturday, I was like, I really just was doubting myself a little. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, I haven't done this in a week. Maybe I forgot how to do it. Like, all of a sudden I was going to lose a skill. Like, I'm just like, really? Like, I mean, I know repetition does make you better and you have to continuously do things so that you'll remember, but your body kind of remembers certain movements that you do. Like, if I'm if I'm learning, like, let's say Tai Chi or something, like, I will remember the movement that I did. I might not remember every single movement, but I'll like, it's one of those things that just like your body just remembers like riding a bike or whatever else, you know, you you just kind of pick up one and it's like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And so I'm taking this class. And when I, when I doubted myself, when I didn't believe in myself, I could, I could feel myself like I wasn't doing good. Like the movements that I was doing wasn't good. Like everything looked a mess. I just, I, I just was messing up a lot because I was, because I was in my own head. I was the only person stopping me from being successful in this. And the instructor comes over and says, you got the, like, you've done this before. You know how to do this. You just have to trust yourself. And I was like, it's so true. And when I trusted myself, I did really great. I really, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I really did really good. It's like me believing in myself, me trusting myself, me trusting and knowing that I've done this before, that I can do this, gave me the confidence to be able to be successful in something that I just learned how to do. And it made me think that's how we need to be in life. We really need to trust ourselves. You might have had a past experience that makes you feel like you can't trust yourself because you might have made bad decisions in your in the past maybe you jumped to into a relationship maybe you jumped into a job maybe you did some things prematurely but now that you know better you can do better like Maya Angelou says now that you've learned some things along the way now that you're focused on God man now that God is a part of your life he's always been there but now that you have rededicated or you've given your life to God there is no telling (laughs) what God is going to do in you there's no telling what kind of things you can accomplish the only thing that's separating you from a successful person is if you fail and give up and a successful person will fail and continue to keep going do not give up on yourself I know sometimes it seems easy sometimes and really it's just so funny. I mean, it's so weird because I was in my head so bad that I was making myself mess up. I was making myself unsuccessful in this new skill that I learned. It was just, it was only me thinking that I couldn't do it. That was stopping me from being able to do it. When I believed in myself, when I, when I had the confidence, when I felt like, you know, I got this, I have done this before I got this. All of a sudden I did it like, I have been doing this for years and I just learned how to do this because I believed in myself. And I know it sounds so corny when people say, you know, you just have to believe in yourself, but it's so true. Like you keep thinking that it's going to be something hard. Like people say, oh, you know, they're looking for some kind of quick fix or some kind of quick, like three, three thing checklist for how they can be successful in life or, and I'm not getting on people that do that. I think it's good to have bullet points if that's what works for you and things like that. But some people want like a a quick, like get rich quick scheme. They want like something super fast. They want it microwavable. They just, they want things now. I It's, it's my, you know, life and I want it now or whatever it is that you're doing. And we fail to remember that (laughs) as long as we believe in ourselves, as long as we're consistent, as long as we are, we have repetition, we could be good in anything. There's nothing that we can't do us especially with God in our life. There's nothing that we can't do. So why are we doubting ourselves? Why are we making it seem like we can't have the things that God wants for us? Why are we making it seem like 
we can't be successful in every area of our life. I've gotten to a point in my life now where I honestly feel like if God wants me to be with someone, I'm happy. If God doesn't want me to be with someone, I will be fine. You know, like God will work out whatever it is that needs to work out in my life. And I honestly feel like I'm at a point where I trust God enough to know that if it's God, I won't be afraid. You know, like I won't, I don't want to put up a barrier or anything like that. I, of course, want to guard my heart at all costs. But, and I also trust God. I know that if there's someone that he wants to be a part of my life, if there's someone that he has for me, then he has that person for a specific reason. And he will give me the skills that I need to be the type of person that I need to be in that relationship. And I don't mean like I need to change myself. I mean, like if I need to have healthy standards and boundaries, if I need to be strong enough to be able to say no and let my no be no's and my yes be yes. If, if I need to stand firm in faith, if I need to stand on my, you know, stand up for myself, I will be able to do it without feeling like I'm going to offend the other person or something else like that. Like if there is, there is anything that I'm weak in, I'm asking God to give me strength so that I can be the type of woman that he wants me to be in friendships. And, you know, when, with my family, with, within a romantic relationship, whatever else, I want to make sure that I'm the woman that God created me to be. If he wants me to be patient, I want to be patient. If he wants me to be understanding, I want to be understanding. If he wants me to be loving and kind, I want to be loving and kind. If he wants me to keep not keep records of wrongs, I want to not keep records of wrongs. If he wants me to not be boastful, I don't want to be boastful. If he wants me to not be jealous or envious, I don't want to be jealous or, or envious because what God has for me is for me. And as long as I have God and I love myself, I have everything that I need. The other person is just a bonus. So when they come into my life, it'll just be, you know, no matter what they do, that doesn't matter. It matters what I do. It matters. I mean, of course, like I'm not in a relationship by myself. I don't mean it in that way. I just mean that I'm going to focus on me being being making sure that I'm doing the best that I can do because I can't make somebody into somebody that they're not. I can't make them like if they care about me, hopefully they'll care about my feelings enough to, <laughs> you know, to consider what I feel, things like that. But other than that, like I can't if the person decides, you know, whatever, whatever's going on on their side, I can't do anything about that. I might be able to influence them tg <laughs> but i can't make someone do something that they don't want to do so i just want to make sure that i focus on being the best version of myself and whatever god intends to happen just happens the way it's supposed to happen that's it so in conclusion when you're thinking about taking a moment let it be a moment to Really, truly think about making the best decision for your life and not a moment where you doubt yourself. Because every time you doubt yourself, you are stunning your own growth. You're stopping yourself on your journey. You're stopping the blessings that God could be giving you. Every opportunity that you can get when you're like, oh, they would never hire me. I could never be in this position. I could never be with this person. I could never, whatever it is that you feel like you're speaking negatively to yourself about or that you are your own worst enemy in. You need to change it today. You need to change it at this moment. You need to start speaking life into yourself. I don't care if it was a second ago you said something negative about yourself. Like, of course she can say that. She's in this video. Listen, you could do it. You can do this. You really have to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You can do anything through Christ who strengthens you. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, seen or unseen. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. You are more than a conqueror. You are everything God created you to be. You are created worthy because God created you to be exactly who you are. The best version of yourself. So don't allow any person, place or thing or any of your past to make you feel like you can't do the things that God graced you or he blessed you to be able to do. If God put you in a position, rock that position. Work with intentionality. Do 
do everything to your best of ability because that's the biblical way. If you get blessed with a spouse, appreciate your spouse. Be the best version of yourself that you could be. Be be the best version of you as a person, as a wife, as a, as a friend, as a family member, whatever it is. Whatever it is that God is going to bless you with or he has blessed you with, appreciate it. Don't take it for granted. And believe in yourself. Know that God got you. He's not going to put you in a, in a position to make you fall. He wants you to always be humble, of course. But he would never give you something just to take it away. And I don't mean that in the you start idolizing somebody and then all of a sudden they're, you don't get to be with that person anymore. God should be number one. So if you're idolizing something, obviously that thing is going to have to go because nothing should be more important than God. And so just <laughs> stay focused and believe in yourself.